Madam Speaker, Deputy Speaker, Chief Justice, leaders of all political parties represented here in our National Assembly. Madam Speaker, I wish to congratulate you and the Deputy Speaker for being elected to your positions of leadership to lead this National Assembly in its work. I am humbled and honored that you as members of the National Assembly have through your votes tonight decided to elect me to be the President of the Republic of South Africa. Thank you very much. It is with pleasure that I accept. It will once again be a privilege and a pleasure to serve this great nation in the position of president. I accept this as a big responsibility and I wish to thank all leaders for your congratulatory messages delivered here at this podium your messages are a clear clarion call for working together. Your messages constitute what I see as a well of encouragement, of good advice, and of wisdom. I will, Madam Speaker, spend some time to read all these wonderful messages that were delivered at this podium because they are great messages from which I want to draw insights. I do believe that there is much that I can learn and glean from these messages. So thank you very much for your kind messages to all of you. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, I want to thank the members of this August House who have voted for me, who through their vote have invested and placed their trust in me. I intend to work with all members and indeed to work together with even those who did not vote for me or who did not find their way clear to vote for me. And this is their democratic right. We are all South Africans, and I will serve all and work with even those who did not support me tonight. The significance of the votes that were made and effected during the day and tonight for the office bearers, that is the speaker, and the Deputy Speaker and myself is not so much in the result of the vote that was delivered, but it is the historic meaning of the vote and this moment that we find ourselves in that is truly significant. That a number of parties that had opposed each other but that represent the majority of South African voters have decided to work together to deliver this result has given a new birth, a new era to our country. I do sincerely believe that this is an era of hope and it's also an era of inclusivity. As diverse political parties, we competed against each other in the election that we just had. The election was highly contested. It was also divisive at times. When I spoke at the Independent Electoral Commission results announcement ceremony, 
I said the results of the election has made plain that the people of South Africa expect their leaders to work together to meet their needs. They expect the parties for which they voted for to find common ground and to overcome their differences, to act and to work together for the good of everyone in our country. The stark reality of the results of our past election is that no single party represented in this House achieved an outright majority to work alone, legislatively, and also at the executive level. Through their votes, our people expect all parties to work together within the framework of our Constitution and to work as political parties to achieve the objectives of a democratic society based on non-racialism, non-sexism, based on peace, justice, and to ensure stability and also to tackle the triple challenges of poverty, unemployment, and inequality, and to achieve prosperity for all. It is in this context that we as political parties that participated in the elections that received the seats we now occupy need to pledge to cooperate, to work together in two ways. As a voluntary parliament of national unity and through a voluntary government of national unity. A number of parties have come together to agree on a statement of intent to form a government of national unity. And this government of national unity will be constituted not by two, not by three, but by more parties that voluntarily want to participate. And so I wish to state very clearly, this is not a grand coalition of two or three parties. It is a government of national unity that we are constituting. And we've been here before. We were here in 1994 when we sought to unite our country and to effect reconciliation. We are here now, as directed by the votes that our people delivered, to work together to ensure that we address the challenges that they face. And this we shall do, and this is what I am committed to achieve as the President of the Republic of South Africa. Honorable members, this is a historic juncture in the life of our country, which requires that we must work and act together to entrench our constitutional democracy and the rule of law and build a South Africa for all its people. And it is with this in mind that I hereby declare that I accept the mission that you are giving me to work with you all to serve the people of our beautiful country. I would like to extend my deep gratitude to the Chief Justice for steering these proceedings of the first sitting with great ability, patience, and excellent leadership. Thank you very much, Chief Justice, for what you have done. I'd like to thank the members of this August House for the decorum that was demonstrated here today. And I also want to thank members of this House for the promise 
the promises that have been articulated here today, that the intention of all parties is that we work together and work together with good decorum, which prevailed today. And I so wish that that continues. Uh, in the end, I wish to thank you all and wish you a good night following a hard day's job for giving effect to the will of our people. It hasn't been very often that we work from 10 a.m. until 12 midnight. So thank you very much. I thank you for all of this. Thank you.